Hi everyone, welcome to MLT MCQ and Notes. This is a fourth part video of questions and answers from previous animal husbandry exam. The link for previous videos are given in description box. First question. Test done to investigate rheumatoid arthritis. Option A. Vidal test. Option B. Schick test. Option C. Roswaller test. Option D. Immunofluorescence test. Answer is option C. Roswaller test. Roswaller test is a slide hemagglutination method for the detection of rheumatoid factor in human serum. People with rheumatoid arthritis often have an elevated ESR and also elevated CRP level. Mm, let's see other options. First option, Vidal test which is used for the detection of Enteric fever that is typhoid fever caused by bacterium Salmonella typhi. Then Schick test. It is a method for determining susceptibility to diphtheria. Method for determining susceptibility to diphtheria. Uh, it, it uses an intradermal injection of diphtheria toxin. It uses intradermal injection of diphtheria toxin. Then immunofluorescence test. It is a powerful technique that utilizes fluorescent labeled antibodies to detect specific target antigens. It uses uh, fluorescent labeled antibodies to detect specific target antigens. The technique is suitable for identifying bacterial species. Then second question. A platelet diluting fluid. Option A, Resecker solution. Option B, Hingelmann's fluid. Option C, Dengue's fluid. Option D, Hames fluid. Answer is option A, Resecker solution. Resecker fluid contains aqueous solution of sodium citrate, sucrose and brilliant crystal blue. 1% ammonium oxalate also used for platelet counting. Then let's go to other options. Hingelmann's fluid and a dengue's fluid. Both are used for absolute eosinophil count. Then Hames fluid which is used for uh, RBC count. It is a RBC diluting fluid. Then other, other diluting fluid which is used for RBC counting is isotonic saline, then Gover's solution, Daisy's fluid which contains citrate formalin and mm, WBC diluting fluid is Turk's fluid. Then third question. CAM test used for the detection of option A mycobacterium tuberculosis, option B streptococcus agalactiae, option C streptococcus pneumoniae, option D staphylococcus aureus. Answer is option B streptococcus agalactiae. CAM test that is acronym for the authors of this test Christie, Atkinson, Munch and Patterson. Uh, it is used to distinguish the species Streptococcus agalactiae from other species of beta hemolytic Streptococcus. It is used to distinguish the species Streptococcus agalactiae from other species of beta hemolytic Streptococcus. Streptococci agalactae is a member of Lancefield group B streptococci which causes mastitis in cows. This is an important point for animal husbandry exam. Mastitis causing bacteria that is Streptococcus agalactiae. In CAM test, the group B streptococci are strict perpendicular to a streak of Staphylococcus aureus on sheep blood agar. A positive reaction appears as an arrowhead zone of hemolysis adjacent to the place where the two strikes lines come into proximity. That is a positive reaction appears as an arrowhead zone of hemolysis adjacent to the place where the two streak lines comes into proximity. Then uh, what is reverse cam test which is used for the identification of closed stadium perfusions. Here streptococcus agalactiae is used. Then let's go through other options. Mycobacterium tuberculosis. The important points to remember about mycobacterium tuberculosis are 
Algemidium and Mandox test. Then Streptococcus pneumoniae. A few things to remember about uh, pneumonia are caramcoin appearance, bile solubility test, optogen sensitivity test, optogen sensitivity test, then colon reaction. Then Staphylococcus aureus, which uh, the seen as oil paint appearance in nutrient agar. And mannitol salt agar is a selective medium for Staphylococcus aureus. Fourth question. Aries spatula is used for the collection of option A sputum, option B CSF, option C peritoneal fluid, option D cervical specimens. Answer is option D cervical specimens. Aries spatula which is a wooden spatula with a U-shaped opening on one side and flat surface on another. It is more effective tool for taking a pap smear sample. Then fifth question, the resolving power of electron microscope. Option A, 200 micron. Option B, 100 micron. Option C, 10 nano. Option D, 0.1 nano. Answer is option D, 0.1 nano. The resolving power of an objective lens is measured by its ability to differentiate two lines or points in an object. For light microscope, 200 nanometer is the resolving power. Sixth question. The scientist discovered virus. Option A. Alexander Fleming. Option B. J.C. Bose. Option C. Dmitry Ivanovsky. Option D. Louis Pasteur. Answer is option C. Dmitry Ivanovsky. In 1890, Dmitry Ivanovsky find the cause of tobacco mosaic disease which is an infection that causes tobacco leaves to discolor. Then who is the father of virology? That is Martinus Bejering. Then let's go through other options. Alexander Fleming who discovered uh, the antibiotic penicillin. Then J.C. Bose discovered Crescograph. Crescograph which is a device used for measuring growth in plants. Then Louis Pasteur, he is the father of modern microbiology. Seventh question, the color of Antisera AB. Antisera AB, option A, blue, option B, yellow, option C, pink, option D, red. Answer is option C, pink. The color of Antisera A is blue. Then the color of Antisera B is yellow. Then HG. Color of Hg reagent which is green. Eighth question. The bacteria known as Hansen's bacillus. Option A. Mycobacterium tuberculosis. Option B. Lactobacillus. Option C. Mycobacterium leprae. Option D. Mycobacterium intermedium. Answer is option C. Mycobacterium leprae. Gerhard Armour Hansen discovered Mycobacterium leprae. Hence the name Hansen's bacilli. Then mycobacterium tuberculosis discovered by Robert Koch. Uh, the point about lactobacillus is which is a acidophilus bacterium. Then mycobacterium intermedium is a slowly growing, slowly growing mycobacterium species. Ninth question. The branch of science dealing with the study of structural changes in tissue during disease condition. Option A. Clinical pathology. Option B. Histopathology. Option C. Cytopathology. Option D. Cytogenetics. Answer is option B. Histopathology. Histopathology is the branch of science which dealing with the study of structural changes in tissue during disease condition. Then clinical pathology which is a, which concerned with the diagnosis of disease based on the laboratory analysis of body fluids such as blood, urine, bi biochemical tests and other tests. Then cytopathology which is a cytopathology which is also known as cytology which is the study of studies and diagnosis of disease on the cellular level. Cytology is the studies and diagnosis disease on the cellular level. Then cytogenetics, which is a study of chromosome 
It involves testing samples of tissues, blood or bone marrow in a laboratory to look for changes in chromosome. To look for changes in chromosome. Then, 10th question. The normal sperm count is option A, 80 to 160 million per ml. Option B, 20 to 40 million per ml. Option C, 4.5 to 6 million per ml. Option D, 100 to 140 million per ml. Answer is option A, 80 to 160 million per ml. Other conditions like oligospermia, which is a condition that allows sperm count. Azospermia, which means a complete absence of sperm in semen. Then, 11th question, the magnification of high power objective. Option A, 10x. Option B, 5x. Option C, 100x. Option D, 45x. Answer is 45x. Then, 12th question, arrangement of RBC in pile of coins is called. Option A, agglutination. Option B, osmotic fragility. Option C, Rolex formation. Option D, sensitization. Answer is, option C, Rolex formation. RBC in pile of coins or stacks of coins arrangement, which is called Rolex formation. Increased fibrinogen and immunoglobulin in blood causes Rolex formation. Then this is normal finding in blood of healthy horses and some cats. Rolex formation is a normal finding of blood of healthy horses and cats. Thank you.